Ma'am, I'm, I'm gonna stick up for what I believe in here. I believe in the Constitution. I believe in freedom of press. If you would like to, you can arrest me. So I would invite you to write me up on the code, ma'am. I would invite you to do that because it's unconstitutional. Ma'am, I would ask that you use a little bit of de-escalation because okay, well, you, you came in kind of hot. So you cannot film on our property without prior approval. That's interesting because it's public property, but you know, I don't see your concern. You guys have, there's four guns between you guys. Where's your concern? You cannot video I am challenging that code, ma'am. That's what I'm doing here today. Okay, I'm so challenging I'm, that code. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another installment of Throwback Thursdays. Today's video was recorded in the village of Larchmont, New York. This is my most viral video on my entire channel and for good reason. I have a lot of updated thoughts on this one, so stick around to the end of the video for those. Without further ado, let's get into it. This guy's over here watching me. How you doing today? Hey, uh, no, I don't need any help. Uh, who are you? I work here. You work here? Oh, okay, thanks. You work here? Yeah. Oh, what's your name? Why? Who are you? Oh no, you came up to me. I'm, I'm just asking. Just you're, you're in a private lot. I'm just wondering what's going on. There's no signs making this private. <laughs> this is this is public property here, right? Yes. Right. Okay. Just wonder why you're taking pictures of the cars and that. Yeah, just taking video and picture of the car, exactly. This is like I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story that I'm working on. Okay. You you're not gonna tell me who you are? I would just like to know who I spoke to since you work for the, the police department here? I am. I'm a detective, I work here. You're a detective? Can I get your name? What uh <laughs> I just I just looking for your name, that's all. I mean, I'm just wondering what's going on. That's it. Yeah, and I'm just wondering what your name is. That's all, really. Just because you talked to me, and I would like I like to know who I spoke with, especially because you're coming. You're a police officer making contact with me. Yeah. So I think I'm just wondering I, why you're taking pictures of our police cars and our lot here. Yeah, no, yeah, I I, I just like, told you that I am that I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story, okay. but again i would like to know who i spoke to since you are a police officer who made contact with me a detective so if i can get your name and shield number i would appreciate it okay can i get your name well no i'm an, I'm, I'm a member of the public and i and i don't want to i don't want to have to identify myself to you but as you know a public employee you know you should identify yourself to the public that's all just because I, I didn't come up to you asking you what your name was randomly i just you made contact and i just want to know i don't see what's the big deal it's public information right Okay. I'm just wondering why you're filming. But you, you keep wondering that, but and I, I've answered that question, but I keep wondering what's your name so I can know who I spoke to and you're not giving me your name. I don't understand why. Why wouldn't you? I'm, I'm just... But you're not watching you wander through the lot taking pictures of unless cars. you identify yourself to me you could be lying i don't know you're a police officer just because you have a gun on your hip that doesn't mean you're a police officer you could just anybody could put you a gun on lying about who you are you're telling me you're an independent journalist i'm not the one carrying a gun okay. <laughs> there's a difference if i was carrying a gun i'm sure you'd want to know who i was right okay is that not fair you all would second, but... all right well i'm gonna keep on about my business all right So, uh, this detective here did not want to identify himself, yet he wants to come over here with his gun and figure out what I'm doing, but yet you can't identify yourself to me. I don't understand. So we got the license plate over here. Hey, how are you? What are you, what are you doing? Can I help you? No, I don't need any help. Can I get your name and badge number though? No, I can't get your name and badge number, no, ma'am. What are you doing in the back parking lot? I'm just, I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story, ma'am. Okay, about what? I, I don't want to release that information until it's published. Okay, well, there's no reason for you to be in the back lot. It's police department and employees only. Ma'am, can, can I, that's, that's not true. There's, it is. there is. This is police parking. Can I show you the signs? And village parking only. Yeah. Yeah, it's village employee parking only. 
Yeah, I'm not, I'm not parking, ma'am. I'm walking. Ma'am, I would ask that you use a little bit of de-escalation because you you came in kind of hot. You came in kind of hot. This is pub. This is public property. No, it's not public property. This is private property. There are police vehicles back here. That doesn't make. What law is that? What law means? It's a village code. It is private property. Can you articulate that code for me? Off the top of my head, no. I can go inside and get it. Can I get you? Can you stop covering your name and badge number? Can I get you? How am I supposed to respect your authority if I don't know who you are? Can I get your name and badge number, sir? Your name is Booty. Badge number two two seven. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for identifying yourself as a law enforcement officer. I appreciate that. How you doing today, sir? Doing, what's up, man? Can I get your name and badge number, please? Sure. Irvine. Irvine? One six. Two one six. Two one six. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. And apply for a filming permit. Pum, pum. Pompilio Shield 28 on the sergeant. Thank you for identifying so yourself. You need to go upstairs Appreciate to that. The second floor to the clerk's office. Yeah. And apply for a permit to film. What? What? Why would I? It's freedom. I have freedom of the press. It is not freedom of press. This is private property. It's fenced off. It's, it, this is not fenced off. No, that's you just. If you are filming on village you, property, you you literally just lied. Excuse me, I'm not lying. I, that's not what that sign it. says. This is it's fenced off, correct? Do you see the fence back? There is no fence here, ma'am. There doesn't need to be a fence here in the event we have to get out in an emergency. It is fenced off on the perimeter. Yeah. If you are filming on village property, yeah, you must get a permit for video. What law is that? That's a village code. Okay, calm down. So you Second floor, yeah, and you could apply for a permit to be videotaping on village property. The, the First Amendment gives me the right to film pu not, in public, not on village property. It is a village code, a village, village of Larchmont code. If you're going to be enforcing to code on me, I would like to know the code, you please. Go upstairs and speak to the clerk. But you're 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 telling me that I'm, I'm telling you, yeah. That you have to have a permit yeah. to videotape in the village according of to a, in court, According to, to a law. Of code. It's code. not a law, it is a code. Okay, and you cannot articulate what code you that is. You have to go upstairs and get it. Okay, so are you, giving me, are you giving me a lawful order to leave? Yes, I'm telling you, you cannot videotape on village property without a permit. Even if you are making a commercial or you're filming a movie, any videotaping in the village of Larchmont, you must apply for a permit. On public property. On public property. Okay. This I need is public property. It's also it belongs to the village of Larchmont. Yeah. There are police vehicles and other things that are not accessible to the public here on this property. In order to videotape anything on Larchmont Village property, anywhere in the village of Larchmont, you must apply for a permit. Where clerk, where are you getting that clerk. where are you getting that information from, Sergeant? Our code, our village code. The one you don't know. Give me a second and I will get it for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Can I get your name, please? Now, Detective, Detective what? Hammond. Hammond. Thank you. Thank you. Shield 101. Shield 101. Thank you, Detective. I'm going to stand over here on a public easement, just in case I was given a lawful order, apparently. So. You've been you've been very you've been very cool with me. My, my first name's Sean. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, sir. Filming Village Code fifty seven one Subdivision two. No filming shall be conducted on public property without prior approval of the Village of Larchmont Board of Trustees. So you cannot film on our property without prior approval. That's interesting, because it's public property, but that's interesting. I, I mean I'm not I'm not doubting I'm not doubting your code that it you're reading. Pro public property within the village of Larchmont, you must obtain prior approval by the village of Larchmont Board of Trustees. That code that is, is completely unconstitutional. It's not unconstitutional. 
constitutional, it is a village code. Village boards are allowed to constitute their own codes. Man, free, freedom of press means that there's no restrictions on it. I will be going up there. I will be going up there. I will. I will be going up there. I will. This this is not this is definitely not your property. This is a public this is a public easement. You can go upstairs and apply for a permit to videotape. Yeah. So but I just want to clarify. So anywhere I go in this city, I have to be I have to have a permit to film. Just just you for clarification. Must have a permit. Yeah. Whether you are on public property or private property within the village of Archmont. Okay. It's so even code. even even from but what I have the right to film the police from New York State law. You are not allowed in the back parking lot on public property mm -hmm. to film without prior approval by the Board of Trustees. Okay. If you are filming commercial in your private residence, you must apply for a permit. That's interesting. That's that's in direct violation of the it Constitution. The village code. The village is allowed to have their own code. If you have an issue, they can. With it, you can take it up with the village. I will. No, code. they can have their own code, but they can't have a code that violates the Constitution that you took an oath to, ma'am. I you, follow the rules of New York State and the village that I work in. You should, that is a code but the number one rule you should follow is the Constitution. You didn't take an oath to, to, to the to the codes. You did. I understand, but you didn't take an oath to the. I'm not even in your park. I'm not even in your parking lot. No, I'm currently not. This is a public easement where I'm at right now. That's I, I can't I can't even believe those words are coming out of okay, your mouth. Well, it's in the village code. You can go upstairs and talk. I'll be getting a, I'll be getting a copy of that. Yeah. Okay, you can go upstairs and talk to the clerk. I will, ma'am. I will. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you guys coming out. Thanks. Take take it easy. Thanks. You too. You too. I'll definitely be fighting that code because that's okay, so it's unconstitutional. Ma'am, respect res respectfully. Ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, I'm on. I'm definitely on a public sidewalk right now. So if you are you are you telling me you're going to arrest me if I? I never said arrest. I asked you to go up to see the court clerk. Don't put words in my mouth. Okay. I asked you to go see the court, not the court clerk, the village clerk. Yeah. To uh huh. Permission to videotape. I'm asking you nicely to stop videotaping. You haven't been nice since you got in here. Can I ask you a question, ma'am? Oh, and then I'll go up no, there. I'm not answering any more questions. I'm telling you to go see the. Well, I'm going to ask you anyway. I'm going to. I'm going to ask you anyway, what happens when you violate a code? What are the repercussions for violating Larchmont Village? Yes. It's actually an arrest. It's an arrestable offense. You get, a, you get a DAT and you have to appear in court on the can you give me one of the, Can you give me one of those? I'm not giving you an arrest ticket right now, no. But I'm not... I'm giving you a warning to go see the court clerk. I would like an arrest ticket. We don't give them out when people ask for them. So what would... What would I'm continuing to film. I'm breaking the code. So if I'm on, you're saying that I can't film, I'm on a public sidewalk. Let me make that very clear. I'm on a public sidewalk. And if it's against the code for me to film. You are filming into the back lot where there is police so, apparatus. So ma'am. I you multiple times to go see. I understand that ma'am. So I would invite you to write me up on the code ma'am. I would invite you to do that because it's unconstitutional. It's unconstitutional ma'am. It's unconstitutional and I would invite you to write me up on it. I am not. I am not. I am not even on village property anymore. Well, the sidewalk technically belongs to the village. It, it belong, technically it belongs to the people, ma'am. It doesn't belong to the people. It belongs to the village. Ma'am, I'm going to make, I'm going to be, I'm going to try and be reasonable here. It's not against you. It's against that code. And I'm going to continue to okay, film so what I could see from public. Ma'am, I'm not going to stop doing that because this okay, is unconstitutional. So I'm going to ask you to go see the, the village clerk to obtain a permit to continue videotaping. Ma'am, I'm, I'm going to stick up for what I believe in here. I believe in the Constitution. I believe in freedom of press. So if you need okay, to write me, if you need me, if if you would like to, you can arrest me or write your ticket of arrest, whatever that is. I invite you to do that. Whatever you need to do. I'm not moving from here, ma'am. I'm not moving from here. You would be violating my constitutional rights, so I'm, I'm inviting you to do that if you so choose. But that would be a violation. You will lose qualified immunity. And I will have litigation for this village of Larchmont, ma'am. I'm not going to stop videoing what I can see from public. That's ridiculous. This is public. I'm not going to start videoing. I'm asking you to stop videotaping. I'm telling you no, ma'am. I'm telling you no. I'm telling you no.
stop videotaping. I'm telling you no, ma'am. I'm, I'm, I'm politely refusing. I'm refusing to, that request. That is an unlawful order. I'm not going to be bullied out of my constitutional rights. I invited you to write up your ticket, arrest me, whatever you'd like to do. But I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stand right here on public sidewalk filming the police, filming what I can see from public. It's my constitutional right that you guys swore an oath to. You didn't swear an oath to that code, ma'am. Yeah. And to the codes of the village of Oh, okay. So so if you took an oath, honor your oath. Do I'm it. You a warning, so I, I don't want a warning, man. Well, guess what? I have discretion, and I'm using my discretion not to issue you a DAT. I'm asking you to leave. Okay. To go apply for a permit to the village. I'm not breaking any laws. I'm not leaving, ma'am. I'm making that clear. I'm not leaving. Public sidewalk. Not breaking any laws. Will not be leaving. This guy knows. He's been nodding the whole time. He knows. He's been, he honors his oath. There you go. I found one. There you go. He honors his oath. He honors his oath. He's been nodding. If you go back. He's been nodding and smiling the whole time because he honors his oath. This sergeant is complete tyrant. Complete tyrant. We're not going to back down from her unlawful order for her codes. We understand the concern here. We walked through a lot. We have no idea who you are. You're taking pictures of I told you. I told you my first name. I told you my purpose. I told you my job. I've informed you about the law and the Constitution of the United States. All I'm telling you is you can see the concern. I, I, I can't. I can't see the concern, sir. It's in the middle of daylight, and you guys, I, I have two cameras on me, a body camera, and, and, you know, I don't see your concern. You guys have, there's four guns between you guys. Where's your concern? I know, you. I mean, I don't have a gun, sir. So you guys have, where would you be concerned in this? How does that factor in, logically? How would you be concerned when you guys have the weapons? Because I have a right to. I'm, I'm a journalist working on a story. I have a right to. You can't impede my rights. Even that village code, I've invited you guys to enforce that. If you guys want to do your job, do your job. But that's not your job. You'd be violating my rights here today. That's not, and that, and I don't know. So, so, I mean, I hope you don't. I would hope, I would hope not, sir. I would hope not. At first you were, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even tell me who you were at first, sir. What's up with that? Where's, where's the transparency? You walked away from me without even identifying yourself. That's not, that's not, that's not right. I don't know who you are. I don't. I identify myself. Hopefully they do not violate my rights by writing me a uh, an arrestable ticket for simply filming in public. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing here. They're concerned, but yet they're, they're the ones with the they're the ones with the weapons. I don't understand that at all. There's no signs marking this restricted in any way. It says vehicles. I'm not in a vehicle. Yeah, sure. Do you plan on ever getting permits? Or no. 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 I'm not going to get a permit to film in public. Okay. No. No. Does anyone else? Is this similar to anything else? Like any other village codes? No. No. I've never. I've never. I've never run across a village code that is in direct co a violation of the constitution like this. Matter, like on, for state parks, you know, mm -hmm. have, you know when I used to work there, they had um, state where for commercial activities. This yeah. Is considered commercial. Yeah. 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 Right? Uh huh. So I was wondering. What do you? You said state what? I got when I went to the state parks, commercial. Okay. He was required. I'm not. Saying yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering. No, no, no. Yeah, probably they they could regulate commercial. Like if I was shooting a movie or something right. like that. Well, that, that yeah. Was, if you're shooting, was, yeah, yeah. If you're shooting like a movie or something, but my that's on my. I'm an investigative journalist, right. so that's freedom. That falls under freedom of the press. Right. 
which can't be violated in any way. So that's why I'm inviting your sergeant. She read me her code right. and I understand that, but I'm inviting her to arrest me on that code. So that way, because when she does, I can then take it to court mm -hmm. and get that code changed because that's in direct violation of the constitution. And that's what I'm really here to do. I'm here to make Have sure. No, no, no. I plan to, I plan on it, but your, your sergeant's making a big deal right now about me leaving. So I have to stand my ground to show her that I'm not going to leave because I have a right to do what I'm doing. And, you know, I've offered her to do, to enforce her code, you know, and that's all I'm going to, I'm just going to peacefully exercise my rights here, sir. That's all. That's all. I'm going to stand up for what I believe in. Thank you. You've been very cordial to me the whole time and I appreciate that, sir. Thank you. We're going to stand out here on the public sidewalk and wait for that, uh, that walk of shame from this sergeant, the drive off of shame, because she deserves it. You all watching this video deserve to see this tyrant drive away from here without any sort of, any sort of legal repercussion to me because she's a tyrant. She, she's trying to violate my rights, threatening me with village codes for simply being on public property. So I'm inviting her to do it. I'm inviting her to violate my rights because there will be legal action taken if she does. These officers right here honor their oath. Very good officers. I'll be putting in commendations to both of them. Very good. Complete tyrant. Looks like a. Uh, looks like her threats didn't work today, guys. Her threats and bullying. Wow. Some sergeant they got there. I appreciate you. What you guys do? I want to shake your hands? No, Thank I'll you. I'll shake your hand. I'm all right, man. Thank you. Thank all you. Right. Pleasure meeting you. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate right. it. Found, I found one. Ryan, have a good day anyway. Yeah, all right, I will. Thank you. Stay safe out there, guys. I'm fine. I'm fine. All right, yeah. All right, we're going to get out of here. The point was proven. She didn't do anything for me filming in public. These officers were very cordial. So it's treasurer, taxes, water department. You got business in here? You got business in here? You need who? something? You need, I miss, you got something in here. You need who? something? Who, who are you? I'm a maintenance guy. I'm asking you, do you need, you have business in here? What, what does the maintenance guy have to do with me, my business? Well, because if you're not in, if you don't have no business, you don't belong in the building. I got, don't have any I, I don't want to, can, can you, can you, can you calm down? Can, can you, can you calm, can you calm down and step away? Hey, Please. No, so we're, we're closed for business right now. We're in the construction. So you, it's, there's, there's no public beyond the point out here in the lobby. But there's, there's no, there's, there's a sign? Yeah, there's a sign. Calm down, guy. Hey, you don't belong in the building. You don't got business. I do have business. Yeah, don't tell me what my business is. You should get back to work. Right here, sir. So yeah, let me see the sign. The sign's right there on the wall. It's just been on this point for both business only. It's supposed to be here as well, so it fell down. So oh, if you need okay. something, you can wait in the lobby. We can help you right away. Um, but we're under construction, so. Yeah, I wanted to speak with somebody regarding uh, a village code that an officer just brought to my attention. Okay, so if you, if you want to sit in the, in the lobby and- uh, yeah. But can you see why I went back there? There, there is no sign right. saying yeah, that- we're on the construction but you're, you you're, but you're telling me that there is no public access past this- Correct. Entryway? The same, the, the, that sign there, would yeah. be the same for right here. Okay. This is the public space right here. Okay. All right? Great. So just hang tight. Do, what, what, sure, what's I'll wait in here. Question? I just had a code about, they, they had a question about a code that I was recited by the, uh, that was recited by a sergeant of Larchmont Police Department okay. uh, saying that I needed um, permission to film. Yes, you do. Yeah, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to talk to somebody about that. Okay. Because well, I, I think it's in direct violation of the U.S. Constitution with okay. freedom of press. I'm right, an investigative so journalist. Why, why don't you review the code online? You can yeah. your interpretation. You can schedule a time to come in. And we can talk about whatever you feel you need to talk about. Yeah. How do, can I schedule a time now to come back? Uh, sure. Let me just see if Brian has a calendar open. We'll sure. probably sometime next week because we're in the midst of the construction. Okay. Great. I'd love to set a time and talk. Uh, Brian, how's the calendar look for, for next week? Uh, Thursday, next week?
right, sir. So we get to Friday. Next Friday around 10. Friday send around 10. Send us an email with your, your credentials and what the question is, and then we can, you know, we can talk we with you. We already advised him that our car is closed. Yeah. We have to apply for a permit to videotape on those properties. Exactly. Exactly. And it's easily accessible. If it's commercial purposes, it's one fee. If you're a student, there's no fee. But we just need some paperwork and some credentials. Yeah. No big deal. Yeah, but the, the credentials is the credentials is provided by the United States Constitution by freedom of press. Okay. I don't need to provide credentials of anything. We all have freedom of press, and I'm just gathering content to disseminate to the public. Just like I've told the sergeant already, if it's against the code, I would like to be charged with that code, so that way I can take this up in the proper channels, which would be courtroom. We want to facilitate, not hinder anyone. Yeah, so great. Well, that code we, that code hin code, hinders well, people. You read it yet, right? so she read it. She read it to me. Okay. She read it to so, me. So again, if you're allowed to videotape your world, like you can wear a GoPro and walk around and do what you want to do. But if you're gonna like use this building or use this in any production or any anything further than just you know your own log of life. Then you do need a permit for that. Now, yeah, you know, it's but, property, but no one, no one is. Yeah, but no one, no one is saying, no one is saying that I'm making a movie or anything like, or a commercial of anything. I'm an investigative journalist okay. gathering content to disseminate to okay. public. He's also in the back lot videotaping all the cars and yeah. everything in the back lot. And explain to whatever me, I can see from public, I can videotape. Gate here is it's private, gated property. In. It yeah. is private property. Right. It's so not private property. Public right away, you can do whatever you need to do from the streets to how, how can a government agency be private? It doesn't make any sense. It's an oxymoron. You're saying because that it's private property, but yet it's, it's a government property, agency. But it's not accessible to the public. There are police, it is accessible to the public, ma'am. As I explained to you earlier, there are police vehicles and apparatus for the fire department and other things housed in the lot. Yeah. You cannot enter from the park. That's why there's a gate there. So mm -hmm. it's only for personnel of the village. You cannot come mm -hmm. into the lot and walk around. Yeah. Well, well ma'am, ma'am, this is this would be Larchmont uh, property as well, right? Yes. The, the building I'm in. Not allowed to videotape inside so the building. So I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Prior approval. I'm listening. Of the board of trustees. Mm -hmm. That is what. I don't. I'm gonna. I will. I will let you know that I. I will let you know right now. I do not have any approval from anybody in the board of trustees. And I, I and I'm continu and I'm continuing I, to I film. Understand that you want me to make the arrest? I'm telling you that I have discretion. I'm giving you a warning. Smart. Smart move. Smart move. And I am choosing not to make the arrest today. That's, that's very smart of you, Sergeant. Thank okay. you. Very smart. So I'm going to ask you to leave the building. Are you under threat of arrest? Are you telling me to leave the building? No, I'm asking you to leave the building. But uh, you're, I don't understand. You're asking me or are you telling me? So There's a difference. I want to I get the law down. You're a law enforcement officer. I just want to make sure that we're clear on the law here. Right, right? we're close to the public because we're under construction. You said pass there. This is the if you if this was a some blue sky day where we weren't doing any work, this would be the area of which you would come in if you needed help and, and figure out what's going on. And then uh -huh. a particular department, we bring it to the department and then you leave. Obviously, with COVID con concerns, we're you know I appreciate you wearing your mask, and then we're doing some work here in the building, and we just can't have you wandering around and so forth. So if you need something, if you get a parking permit, you want to pay a ticket. Well, I'm gathering, I'm gathering, I'm gathering content for a story. That's what I need. So okay. I'm going to be in the public areas of this building, gathering content for my story. If you tell me that I can't go past there and I can't go past there because it's restricted. Can I get your name too? I didn't get your name. Justin Patino. Justin Patino, Vinyl's so, Administrator. So the idea here is if you need help, if you need something, we're going yeah. to gather it. But other than that, we're not open to the public. So uh -huh. you can't be up here. Out of, out of this, you know, out of the building, we've got boxes everywhere. We're working on stuff. Yeah. So, you know, if you need something, I'll give you a, uh, a permit form. If uh, you need a calendar, I don't know. What but respect, res respectfully, sir, that if, if the doors are open and this is a public building, that means you are open to the public. Sir. Right, to help someone and then yeah. on their way. Or so if somebody, or if somebody's conducting, I'm You're not, uh, uh, this You're is not, not I have a purpose here, sir. That means that wouldn't be loitering. I have a purpose here. I'm not just standing according around. To according to who? According, according to the United States, Con freedom of press. I'm gathering content for a you story in a public be, place. Yes, I understand. You can gather your content, but the Village of Larchmont Code clearly states. I understand that. I understand that. That you cannot video. I am challenging that code, ma'am. That's what I'm doing here today. Okay, I'm so challenging that code. I suggest that you file a FOIA request with the village, obtain a copy of that code, yeah. and then you can. I'm sure I can get it online. I'm sure I can get it online. But what better way for you to enforce the code? I'm telling you to. You're you're telling me about a code that you're not even enforcing, ma'am. I'm asking because you to. I have discretion. Okay. And, and all I'm asking you now, so you're okay. Okay, I'm not going to cease videotaping. If you're telling, if you're ordering me to leave the building, I will leave the building. If you're ordering me to leave the building, he can wait in the lobby if he likes. He can wait downstairs the lobby. Is, in the lobby is open to the public. You can wait in the lobby. This is not open to the public. 
because it, of COVID restrictions. Right. So you feel so free to wait it, 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 it sure is open. This says access beyond this point for village business only. Right. right? That's the sign. Uh, and I'm revising that for you, sir. You okay. So you're you're, you're changing you're changing the restriction of, of public. I'm trying to accommodate you. Okay. Right? You need space to gather your information, and I want to try and accommodate your request. I really don't know who you are and what you're you're obtaining, but in light of your sincere approach. The lobby is going to be available to you. You can sit down in the lobby until four o'clock this afternoon when we close the doors. For so you. I can't, I can't sit in here. And this is the courtroom. No, this is under construction. You're not allowed to videotape in the courtroom, which you did when you came up the stairs. Yeah. There's so what, 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 so, not what law is that? Videotape in the courtroom. What law is that, though? I can get it from the court clerk. You are not allowed to videotape in the courtroom. Probably when it's in session, ma'am. That's probably no. what that means. Actually, court is open to the public when it is in session. You yeah. are not allowed to videotape in the courtroom for safety reasons. Okay. People plot and plan things. You cannot videotape. I'm, I'm, I got it. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting a, I, I want to submit a, a Freedom of Information Act request. Okay, we'll get you the form and bring it downstairs. I will why, get you the form. Why can't I just go handle my business? Because you are not allowed up here. It is closed to the public. The village administrator already told you. So is somebody going to give me service? They're going to provide me with the form? You're going to get the form right Okay, now. great. The village clerk is printing it out. Great, great. And a piece of construction debris falls and hits you, that's yeah. an issue. So nobody, we're not even allowed up here. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. And then when I when I thank you. And when I uh, fill this out, I give this to who? You can scan it or email. You can fax scan it, it. Email it. The fax. Everything's. I'd rather there. I'd rather bring it back personally. So okay, where where would I go? To bring it into the police department at the window, and we can facilitate bringing it upstairs. So they take they take a FOIA requests know, at the police department sure. for the, the village. village and you will let them know downstairs. That door is open 24-7, so you can go in there anytime. If you get okay. It. You Thank, thanks, thanks Justin. Thanks. Take Once care. You the door, you cannot videotape inside police headquarters. I will be doing that for sure. For you sure. You cannot videotape inside. I'm, I'm telling you, ma'am, I'm going to be doing okay, it. that's fine. I'm going to be so doing it. Go out those doors right there. Have a good day. I'm going right now to the police station, just so you know, to film. Exercise my First Amendment right. Desk officer over here. Hey, how are you? How are you? You guys got a small uh, lobby area here, it's man. Festival, yeah. <laughs> small lobby area here, man. For a big guy like me, I feel I could feel claustrophobic. <laughs> uh, well, I just wanted to see what you guys got in here. Yeah, Take care, man. All right. Take care. All right. You too. Well, we made our point. There was really nothing, nothing to see in there. I have something for you. So this is the permit for filming. Disregard the filming fee because that is for commercial. Only. Two thousand a day. It's for commercial shoots. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. But fill out this form in its entirety. Provide a certificate of insurance, and the village will review it and get it answered to you extremely quickly. No, ma'am. I don't need that. I don't need that. Okay, well, you're telling me that you want to film, you need to have a permit to film. No, I don't. I'm telling you, I don't. The Village of Larchmont Code requires that you have a permit to film. I, I, under, I understand that, but the, the United States Constitution gives me the, the inherent right to film. But the village, so yeah. you have the United States Constitution, mm -hmm. then each state has their own constitution, and then each village and yeah. jurisdiction has their own rules and regulations. So what makes you think that a village can supersede the Constitution of the United States? We're, 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 gonna get to the we're just going to give you this. I don't want that, man. Okay, well, um, I'm trying to accommodate sure. what you is, want. Is there anything else we can help you with? No, you, 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 guys, you guys are good to go. Okay. Chair, sir, if you like. This is the bench in the back. Appreciate it, Justin. All right, sir. Good luck. If you have any questions, you can give us a call, email. Oh, I, you'll, be, you'll be hearing from me soon. You too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, rewatching this one, I can definitely tell why it's my most viral video. My first takeaway is I was definitely very bold in this video, basically daring Sergeant Pompilio to arrest me. 
I just remember being so dumbfounded by her unconstitutional village code that I wanted to be able to challenge it in a court of law. Sergeant Pompilio obviously didn't take me up on my offer, which was probably for the best. Since I started my activism, I have been arrested a total of nine times. Seven dismissals and two are currently pending. The ones that are pending are the NYPD criminal case and the Nassau County criminal case. Stay tuned for updates on those prosecutions, but I am confident we will get dismissals in those as well. Officer Irvine knew what I was doing was constitutionally protected and was on our side silently. I remember thinking he was a good one, but watching it back, I realized although he might have knew what I was doing was lawful, he didn't stop the sergeant from harassing me and trying to violate my rights. I do understand that that is his supervisor, but he took an oath to uphold the Constitution, even from his supervisor. I will be following back up with the Village of Large Mont, so stay tuned for that. Let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.